This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Check out the new awesome P51-870 Titan Digital Manifold. And remember, 70 years of expertise built into every tool. And by UEI Test Instruments, home of the new DL-429B. UEI, Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. All right, so we're at a vacant little office suite. All right, so we got a Linux unit here. They bypassed the disconnect, so the breaker panel is next door, so I had to go next door. This is a, a bunch of little suites. Uh, one guy owns all these. So I had to go next door, kill the power. The power is dead. I checked it in between each leg and then each leg to ground. We're dead. So we're going to uh, see if we've got a bad capacitator. All right, so we have a 60 plus 10, but they're only using the hermetic side. Hermetic Joe Shear. And then they've got the fan capacitor tucked away in the box with tape so we're set to microfarads let's see if we're getting 60 we are okay all right let me take this apart there's what's left of the box. Look at all that tape. Look. Look at that. Look. I bet you it took them just as long to tape all that shit up as it would have. And, and look about Linux. There's a screw there and a screw there. They didn't even have to drill them. All they had to do was get a piece of plumbing strap. There it is. Unbelievable. Okay, that's my yellow for the fan. Now I try to get this thing off with one hand. I don't think it's a capacitor issue. I think the contactor's bad because or we're not getting power or we have a bad breaker or something, but we're gonna find out. We're also gonna recommend that they let me replace that disconnect while I'm here. There, I'm trying to do this with one hand, fellas. on it too hard there we go it's it's a five it's good all right it's not a capacitor issue so we will mount that one back and then we'll put a strap on this one okay we got it all cleaned up mounted it i bet you i did that faster than they put all that tape right there i didn't even have to drill holes i used one of the linux screws there and then another one here and it ain't going nowhere all right now i'm gonna have him cut the power back on and we're gonna see if we got a bad contactor or what's going on okay Power. No power. And we are pushed in. Bad contactor. So I did the old tappy tappy right here on the side of the contactor. And she fired right up. Of course, we're not going to leave it like that. But I just wanted to see. And now I'm going to go tell them that they need a contactor and they need a disconnect. So, let's go see what they say. All right, we got approval to do whatever we had to do. So we have our contactor and our due disconnect, and we're gonna get started.
So we got our new disconnect on as you saw fan capacitor strapped the compressor capacitor is actually a dual strap back in place new contactor had to put a new connector here and a new one here on the low voltage you can see this contactor was pretty well burnt you see the burn mark there's a burnt yeah right here nice burn mark that's where that red one was that I redid the old one. I cut it. It's around here somewhere. But uh redid that. So she's and I cleaned up the wires with some wire ties the best I could, make it look as neat as possible. Cleaned off all the grass in here. And uh yeah, she's ready to run. Okay, the disconnect works. It's always a good sign. All right, I'm gonna start cleaning up. Alrighty. So the Linux lives to fight another summer. Five ton from the year 2000. 19 years old. All right, guys. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.